Hello everyone, our latest discuss about 2023 CPT coding guidelines for surgery digestive system part 2. In the current session, we will be focusing CPTs in the range 42002 42699. Coming to the next topic that is palate and uvula. The palate and uvula are divided into four sessions. The CPTs under palate and uvula are divided into incision, excision and destruction, repair and other procedures. There is only one CPT under incision that is 4200. And for excision and destruction, the CPTs are in the range 42100 to 42160. And for repair, the CPT is in the range 42180 to 42281. And finally, coming to other procedures, there is only one CPT that is 42299. Now, coming to the incision CPTs. As we have discussed earlier, only one CPT is there that is 42300. It deals with drainage of abscess of palate and uvula. Coming to excision and destruction CPTs, the first CPT is 42100. It deals with biopsy of palate and uvula. The next CPT is 42104. It deals with excision, lesion of palate, uvula without closure. And 42106 deals with excision, lesion of palate or uvula with the simple primary closure. And 42107 deals with local flap closure. And for skin grafts, you need to see 14040 to 14302. And for mucosal graft, you need to use 40818. The next CPT is 42120. It deals with resection of palate or extensive resection of lesion. And for reconstruction of palate with extra oral tissue, you need to refer these following CPTs. The next is 42140. It deals with ulbilectomy, excision of uvula. The next is 42145. It deals with palatopharyngoplasty or ulvulopalatopharyngoplasty or ulvulopharyngoplasty. In either case, the CPT is 42145. And for removal of exostosis of bony palate, you need to see 21031 and 21032. The next CPT is 42160. It deals with destruction of lesion, palate or uvula, thermal, cryo or by chemical means. Next coming to repair CPTs. The first CPT is 42180. It deals with repair laceration of palate up to 2 cm. If the laceration is over 2 cm or complex, the CPT is 42182. The next is 42200. It deals with palatoplasty for cleft palate soft and or hard palate only. The next is 42205. It deals with palatoplasty for cleft palate with closure of alveolar rich soft tissue only. The next is 42210. It deals with palatoplasty for cleft palate with bone graft to alveolar rich. It includes obtaining the grafts. The next is 42215. It deals with palatoplasty for cleft palate major revision. The next is 42220. It deals with palatoplasty for cleft palate secondary lengthening procedure. The next is 42225. It deals with palatoplasty for cleft palate with attachment of pharyngeal flap. The next is 42226. It deals with lengthening of palate and pharyngeal flap. The next is 42227. It deals with lengthening of palate with island flap. The next CPT is 42235. It deals with repair of anterior palate including vomer flap. And for repair of oronasal fistula, you need to use 30600. The next is 42260. It deals with repair of nasolabial fistula. And for repair of cleft lip, you need to refer the CPT range 40700 sequence. The next is 42280. It deals with maxillary impression for palatal processes. Maxillary impression for palatal processes. The next is 42281. It deals with incision of pin related palatal processes. Finally, coming to 
coming to other procedures there is only one cpt 42299 it deals with unlisted procedure palate and ulvula let us see some examples a 45 year old patient presents for biopsy of palate the cpt for biopsy of palate is 42100 which is nothing but biopsy of palate ulvula next example patient presents with lesion of palate physician performs the destruction of lesion by cryotherapy for destruction of lesion by cryotherapy the cpt is 42160 it deals with destruction of lesion palate or uvula thermal cryo or chemical method in our question it is cryotherapy coming to next topic in the digestive system that is salivary glands and ducts in salivary glands and ducts the cpts are divided into incision excision repair and other procedures the range for incision is 42300 to 42340 and for excision the range is 42400 to 42450 and for repair the range is 42500 to 42510 and finally other procedures come under 42550 to 42639 first of all coming to incision cpts the first one is 42300 it deals with drainage of abscess parotid simple and for drainage of abscess of parotid gland complicated the cpt is 42305 the next is 42310 it deals with drainage of abscess submaxillary or sublingual intraoral the next cpt is 42320 for drainage of abscess submaxillary external the cpt is 42320 the next cpt is 42330 it deals with sialolithotomy submandibular or submaxillary sublingual or parotid uncomplicated intraoral the next is 42335 sialolithotomy submandibular or submaxillary complicated intraoral for uncomplicated the cpt is 42330 for complicated the cpt is 42335 the next is 42340 it deals with sialolithotomy parotid extraoral or complicated intraoral next coming to excision cpt is the first cpt is 42400 it deals with biopsy of salivary gland needle and for fine needle aspiration biopsy you need to refer this following cpts and for evaluation of fine needle aspirate you need to refer 88172 and 88173 and if imaging guidance is performed you need to refer this following radiology cpts The next is 42405. It deals with biopsy of salivary gland incisional. For incisional biopsy, the CPT is 42405. For needle biopsy, the CPT is 42400. The next CPT is 42408. It deals with excision of sublingual salivary cyst. That is ranula. The next CPT is 42409. It deals with marsupialization of sublingual salivary cyst the next is 42410 it deals with excision of parotid tumor or parotid gland lateral lobe without nerve dissection the next is 42415 it deals with excision of parotid tumor or parotid gland lateral lobe with the dissection and preservation of facial nerve the next is 42420 it deals with excision of parotid tumor or parotid gland total with the dissection and preservation of facial nerve the next is 42425 it deals with excision of parotid tumor or parotid gland total en bloc removal with sacrifice of facial nerve the next is 42426 it deals with excision of parotid tumor or parotid gland total with unilateral radical radical neck dissection and for suturing or grafting of facial nerve you need to refer this following cpts the next cpt is 42440 it deals with excision of submandibular or submaxillary gland 
The next is 42450. It deals with excision of sublingual gland. Finally, coming to other procedures, the first CPT is 42550. It deals with injection procedure for silography. And for radiological supervision and interpretation, you need to use 70390 along with 42550. The next CPT is 42600. For the closure of salivary fistula, the CPT is 42600. The next is 42650. It deals with dilation of salivary duct. The next is 42660. It deals with dilation and catheterization of salivary duct with or without injection. The next is 42695. It deals with ligation, salivary duct, intraoral. And finally, 42699 deals with unlisted procedure, salivary glands or ducts. By this we complete salivary glands and ducts. Let us see some of the examples. Patient presents for simple drainage of abscess of parotid gland. For drainage of abscess, simple parotid gland, the CPT is 42300. Drainage of abscess, parotid, simple. Next question, patient presents for the needle biopsy. Needle biopsy of the salivary gland. The CPT is 42400. Biopsy of salivary gland needle. Next, patient presents for the excision of sublingual salivary cyst. Patient presents for the excision of sublingual salivary cyst. The CPT is 42408. Excision of sublingual salivary cyst or ranule. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.